Hello beautiful viewers and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Chit Chat. So uh, with me Pa Usman Ture and I'm not alone in the studio today. I have the beautiful Maya with me. Hello. <laughs> yes uh, and uh, aside from the beautiful Maya we have the energetic <laughs> Mohammed, the ladies man. <laughs> the Come on, I ain't no ladies man, I'm just being me man. <laughs> Anyways, it's another exciting uh, episode of the Chit Chat So right here and today we are talking about a very important topic, uh, a burning issue that is happening in society right now. And today we want to talk about rape. You know, uh, we have heard about a lot of rape cases right now in the country and we believe that it is something that is affecting us as uh, people that are living in society and also youths. Mm -hmm. And today we want to talk to you beautiful listeners about it. We want to sit here and discuss. And we hope you beautiful listeners would have uh, a very interesting show today. Maya, mm -hmm. what do you understand about rape re or rape? Okay. Um, when you talk about rape, it, it means like forcing someone to have sexual intercourse with the person. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I think it goes beyond that. Uh, mm -hmm. When people talk about rape, People have this misconception when they talk about rape that it uh, has to do with male or men raping women. Mm -hmm. Forgetting the fact that women can rape other women. Mm -hmm. Women can even rape men. Mm -hmm. Not only men raping women. Yeah, and in, in basic terms, uh, rape is simply uh, an act of a non-consensual uh, sexual penetration. Mm -hmm. You know, you go have sex with someone. Oh, it might not even be uh, via the sexual organ. You can uh, have oral or anal sex with someone, you know, and still rape them. Mm -hmm. If it is not based on their own consent, you yeah. know. And we've seen it uh, in society in most cases where people would molest children, uh, you know, old women would also molest uh, little boys, boys yeah. and, you know, have uh, rape them or have sexual intercourse with them. Uh, in other countries, uh, sexual harassment mm -hmm. you know can be termed as rape it depends on how deep you go with someone you know yeah. you can touch someone you know sexually and they don't even appreciate it and you start forcing yourself on them and it will be an issue uh, we have seen it happen in our country right now people are talking about it mm -hmm. uh, so i want to ask uh, this question like uh, how do we think society plays a role in in, in rapery well, society plays a very, very, very big role in it, in the, in the sense that uh, mm -hmm. society kind of like neglects people that have been victims of rape, yeah. basically. So I think society's role in this should kind of like be to help them and, you know, embrace these people that are victims of rape mm -hmm. instead of just, you know, pushing them away and kind of like shutting them out. <laughs> society has a big role to do. Because sometimes um, victims feel too stigmatized mm -hmm. or discriminated when they speak out. So they rather keep it inside them because there are people that have been raped. Some of them even they got married but they never um, spoke about it. They yeah. still keep it. Because the moment they voice it out, people will be pointing fingers at them. Mm -hmm. People will be blaming them, saying that they are, the, they, are the, they are the fault. They are the reason why they have been raped. Yeah. Yeah, I, I believe that we live in a, a very, 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 very judgmental That's world. Right, exactly. You know, people don't even know your story and they, start, they you know, sure. get into the motion of judging you while not even knowing who you are, how you got to where you are. We've all made mistakes in life. I, I tell people that I made some mistakes in life and if I could go back and, and erase the them, clock. I would not because they made me who I am today. Yeah. You know, we have seen victims that have been raped in the past and they are more stronger today Very strong. than they were. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe society has a bigger role to play in the sense that you should not turn a blind eye to someone who was being raped. raped definitely. You know, or, or, or a situation of rapery. Definitely. If you know anybody that is doing this act, you should be able to report this particular person to the authorities. Sure. You know, today you might look at someone's child being molested or being raped. Tomorrow it can be your own child. Mm -hmm. You don't know where your children will end up. You don't know how you would end up as a human being. So I believe we have a bigger role to play as individuals than just giving a deaf ear or, or a blind eye to, to a situation of rapery. 
you know. And and most of the time, like people that you have trust into, mm -hmm. people that you you feel like when you have problem, you have to run to them to help you, to give you a helping hand. They are the very ones that will turn to rape you. Some people like close to you, very close relatives. Like Uncle Mohammed. <laughs> no, 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 not me. I don't do that. No, I, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and and th this is the thing, this is the thing. Uh, numbers are showing that mo most, most rape cases are, you know, most rape victims are even raped by people who are close to them. Mm -hmm. People like cl close relatives, family relatives, like neighbors. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of these cases happen within their neighborhood, so it's mm -hmm. obviously someone you know and and, and, and okay, um, sometimes when you rape too, and you you speak it to you, you tell it to someone, uh, or even your parent or someone like that you trust, they will they won't say it in front of you. They will wait until you go, and they will be like, "Kid of a robot, libet mo wansi mom, hang on, stuff like that." And instead of them helping you, telling you how you you have to comfort yourself, how you have to put your body and soul together. This is what they will say to you. Okay, and we've also seen that in scenarios where in you go tell someone that you trust someone with the truth and tell them that I've been raped and they'll tell you, you should keep quiet about this. Maybe if you tell the authorities about this, they will arrest this particular person. Yes, if that person is the one that is helping or is the breadwinner of the family, uh, they would say that, you know what, if, you, if he is arrested, we would not be able to eat, we would not be able to, to have clothes to wear, we would not even have a shelter to live in. What are some of the, the things that we should come up with? The solution. Yes, the solution. Solutions. Exactly. Our society? Yeah, I don't think that should be an excuse. I mean, if someone is raped, rape is a crime, yes. a very serious crime. Mm -hmm. So if someone commits rape, don't look at the fact that he's helping you, so you shouldn't report him to the police. I mean, he, he did a crime. Mm -hmm. Who knows? He can do the crime to another person, another person, mm -hmm. hundreds of people. You don't know. Mm -hmm. So whenever this thing happens, I think the best thing you, you, you can do and you should do is report the case to whoever is responsible, in this case, the police. Mm -hmm. And also, our parents have to teach us about sex education. Some of them, they will feel too shy to, mm -hmm. to, talk, to talk to us, both, like, both our fathers and our moms. They will feel too shy to sit with us and tell us about the reality of life and what involves what is all involved in sex. They will be like, the moment they say to you, go outside and practice it. So I think that will also um, serve as a solution to help the younger ones that are coming to, to prevent themselves from being raped. Mm -hmm. And I believe our offices like the Child Protection Alliance should be really enhanced. You need to give them funds, uh, give them trainings, uh, let them go explore, know what to do to be able to help children at the end of the day. And also uh, the government should also be able to pump in money into the police system mm -hmm. to make sure that they really help uh, people of rape uh, cases. Uh, anyways, we hope you enjoyed this beautiful uh, show of the Chit Chat Show. Uh, it was me, Pa Usman Ture, the beautiful Maya, the ladies man, Mohammed. <laughs> uh, we hope you had fun uh, watching and listening to us. Uh, we love being here for you people. Uh, see you next weekend. Thank you.